It has been more than a year since I made my last video about efficient buildings in Timberborn. Those two videos were for the Folktale faction, and in this video, I will show you efficient buildings for the Iron Teeth faction in Timberborn Update 5. So, the first thing we're gonna do is start really simple and so do something everybody needs. We're gonna create an improved hydroponic garden. I have two designs for you. The first one is let's get some medium warehouse like this on one side and do the opposite on the other. Of course, it might be even easier to do sideways like this let's do that instead now let's get into the food let's get our garden and put it on one side as you see we have entrance in the middle for both the warehouse and the garden this is we'll do something like this and then have stairs here next to it and connect it and of course this is just the start the easy way and it's this is one solution of course now you have few more options here you can have a small warehouse next to it like this you can also have stairs to this on the side and that go up to the next level and on the next level you can have maybe more storage or something else so this is one variation if you think this is too big I have a smaller one for you and for the other variation we can do something like this so let's get into the storage and have a small warehouse and in the back we're gonna need three small warehouses and let's connect them all up to the road system then on top we're gonna put our hydroponic garden system now here you have to be a bit careful because right now if if we place where our entrance is in the middle just above our warehouse we're gonna have to put a platform next to it then have stairs something like this there is an option to put the entrance for the garden to the side let's get garden again something like this so now you see the entrance for the warehouse is right here and to the garden we can just place a stairs simple efficient and it all works so it's quite a bit smaller but also has less storage and also less options for the expansion expanding same the way we have here on the next so here it's easy to do something like this and then a small storage again right here and connect it all up efficient works really well and for the next design we're gonna do some work with the food factory and the oil press and we're gonna do the same thing here this one is gonna be a bit larger but also it's gonna do a lot more so let's place two medium-sized warehouses like that and then two in the back as well and now let's get into the food factory and build it something like this and now you have to be careful here because the food factory will only transport power on the middle in the middle of the block so if you have let's see here oil press and it only touches the side or the corners it will not work so right here let's see oil press is right here now the power goes into this one and to the oil press let's get stairs and then right here let's also get engine here so here it is working we have oil press creating canola oil with the canola canola oil seed right below it and we have the food factory creating algae rations which create needs some algae which are just down here so it's very easy very efficient and it's all connected it works really wonderful and for the small design let's get three medium warehouses so one to the side one on one side and it's just like this connect them up and this is really important now we're gonna place food factory above the two or uh, the two warehouses like this and then we're gonna have our oil press on the smaller one by it, that's by itself we can do something like this here have a stairs pathway and this way so as you can see this is quite a bit smaller all these blocks don't exist you might think this is a waste but you can always put some small warehouses here and it's similar just a tiny bit smaller and there we go as you see it's all spinning it's all working right now the food factory doesn't have any job but it will soon so let's go to the next one and i know how much you love building efficient apartment buildings so that's the next one so as you can see the large barracks and the barracks are the same same height entrance is in the same place the large barracks are just a bit thicker for these buildings i'm gonna use barracks but it doesn't matter you can use whichever you want let's create a three-story apartment i'm just creating three for the example here you can have them as tall as you want or as tall as game allows you to so let's take it step by step here all right so here we have three floors with the barracks First, I'm going to create an entrance here for floors. So this is where I know I have to be for the buildings to work simply. Let's go on to the next one as well. And let's cover up or let's open up all the entrances. 
like that so it's three by four in total very simple design we're gonna go one up here and one up here. so now we have first and second floor covered but for the third floor we're gonna do something like this let's place one up here or one more platform and then a stairs then we have a double platform and let's go one more stairs right there so now it's all connected so right here we should have three and three on the next one as well connected all so there we go now let's go all the way to the bottom here and check what it looks like. We have a path to the floor buildings, all floor entrances. Let's go one up and we have the second floor. And as you can see, there is a pathway and entrance to every building. And if we go a bit up, it continues up here. We are at the top floor and you can just copy and continue with this design all you want. This works really well when it's when the buildings are two floors or two blocks high. I'm going to do something with the storage as well. And I have two different designs for the storage. And as you can see, the storage is slightly different because it's one block tall. Unless you go for the large warehouse, which is three blocks tall. So it's a whole different design. But let's go. Medium warehouse. And we're going to do something like this, but to work with one tall or one tall so here we have it's a five tall warehouse and we only have one entrance so it's a it's a tight design but that's kind of what we want here and i actually have two designs for this so one is a bit larger but fits more with the building and one is a bit more compact so the first one is stairs that are three by three it will look like this all the way up so what does this mean let's start off like this let's get a stairs on one side and a path to it like this so this is all normal the next one is have a stairs here in the middle and then have a path connected like this and now this is for the second floor so i'm gonna create a path right here all the buildings and also one on the side here here we're gonna go one up have a double platform so right here we have a entrance for the next floor go here and in quite easy but very efficient now for the next floor we're gonna do the same thing this like this so it's double double platforms with stairs in the middle again a double on this side but then we need a regular platforms just to get in here and there we go so now everything should be connected except right here ah i forgot of course we're gonna need to connect right down here as well there we go no red lights no everything is connected if you want there is a possibility for you to add small warehouses right here on the side to remove this so some will work some won't but you can add few more if you want but it's not possible to add a regular warehouse because the stairs here are in the middle and they block the entrance. And now for the second design, it all starts the same. So we're going to have floors here. And as I said, this one is a bit larger, but it fits the building a bit better. So there we have, we're going to start off with five by two. Very easy. Let's create a platform for the entrance. And now we need stairs for the next side and also a pathway. So this is the way it's going to work all the way around. It's a bit more roomy design. But I, I, I prefer it actually compared to this one. It's all good. Now we're gonna go something like this. We're gonna have one more. So this is all double a triple right there. Oh no, oh, that was a mistake. So now we're gonna have stairs right here and we're gonna need a triple. Now you can choose to do a triple or just three platforms. It doesn't matter at all. There we go. There you are. Let's have a single platform right here and then have it go all the way around. And of course, let's not forget to connect the stairs as well. And there we go. Now, it's your choice. However you want, you can do this. But as I said, I think this one looks better because it fits more with, with, uh, with the width of the building. But... I Ah, if you don't care, this one is a bit more efficient. And that was all, y'all. Video will be here with the links to the earlier designs, earlier videos. If you want to know more about the folktales, press link here, here, or in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.